Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I'm going to show you how to use the explode function within MuseScore to take a simple piano voicing and uh, explode it into an orchestra. In other words, to take what I have here is a five note piano voicing, one, two, three, four, five. I want to take those five pitches and I want to distribute them among the uh, string section of my orchestra. So in order to do this, you, you have to make sure that your chords are actually consistent. Like these are all, this whole passage here, I have four notes on the top staff and one note on the bottom staff and it's all one voice. They all have the same rhythm. This technique isn't necessarily going to work so well if there's deviations from that. You can you know, play games with it to get it to work, but I want to show you the basic case here where everything is nice and simple. These bottom notes here are going to go to the basses. The top four notes are going to go to the other strings. Well, let me just go ahead and get the bass in there first. I don't even need explode for that. I'm just going to take that bass. I'm going to copy it, that bass part, and copy and paste it into the contra bass part. Now, notice that it shows as an octave higher. Well, that's because contra basses sound an octave lower than written. But uh, I might as well just hit control down to take it down an octave um, because they can play lower, so why not? Now, the top four notes, again, I want to get them into the other string part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select those and I'm going to hit Control C to copy them. And then I'm going to come down to the violin and paste. And that's Control V. And you'll see, well, now all four parts are there on the violins. They're not exploded yet. They're just copied. But now I'm going to do the explode. With them still selected, I'll go to Tools, Explode. I have a keyboard shortcut defined for that because uh, I use it reasonably often. Um, you can define your own keyboard shortcut you want in the preferences dialog, but it's just right there under the tools menu, explode, and watch what it's going to do. It's going to take those four note chords and it spreads them out. So violin has the top note, violin two has the second to top note, viola has the third to top note, and cello has the bottom note. Um, you can see that there's the F sharp in the original, and here's the F sharp in the cello now. So that is how you can easily take an arrangement maybe that you've written for a piano accompaniment, if it's nice and simple like this, and just quickly uh, throw it into your string section or maybe a saxophone section in a big band. This technique is it works anytime you want to take a single chord and spread it out among multiple instruments.